the future isn't about tomorrow. It used to be about tomorrow. The future is about today. The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. I know it sounds crazy. World War I and II, the nuclear bomb, the internet. But the next 10 years, we have six kingmakers. We must make sure we stay human despite of all the technology. There would be no point if we were to turn into a machine. Perma change means as soon as you've gotten used to something, it changes. Green is the new digital. You're going to have another cluster here. Green, carbon technology, climate technology, that's just exploding. We're heading into climate emergency. This is exactly like COVID. Once we hit the wall and things are getting really bad, and a thousand people die in India every single day because of the temperature, then we're seeing a real reason to move. The state of California sued the biggest oil companies in the world. This is the biggest lawsuit against oil companies for damages of trillions. We're going to be in a world where we make a tiny bit more money in the sorted places, but everything else, nature, planet, is declining and crashing. The oil companies make a profit of two and a half billion U.S. dollars per day. Where does that money go? Now you have the answer why we have those plants and not sort of plants. Europe is leading in climate change technology in tackling climate change, but 72% of young adults, 25 to 40, believe their future is worse than their parents. Kevin Kelly says, it's time for a new narrative. And I totally agree. Let's forget about dystopia or utopia. He calls it protopia. It's a good word. Protopia is simply a stepwise approach into the good future. Much like what you're doing with the cluster day here, right? Just one thing at a time, we move into fixing things. We should be optimistic, not because we have less problems, but we have more capacity to solve them. If you are not sustainable, circular, green by 2030, people will hate you. It's as simple as that. Technology is a great tool, but a terrible master. It doesn't understand humanity. It understands data. There's a very big difference. Connected, green, human. Because what is the point of connecting if we can't be human? If that was the stock market, and we would say, you have to tick all the four boxes, so I buy your stocks or your mutual fund. We need to figure out how we can create companies that tick those boxes. You can't tick 10 on all of them, clearly. And we should not pay dividends to CEOs and companies that don't tick those boxes. If you ask an AI today, how would you solve climate change? You know what it would say? It would say, eliminate all humans. Noise, manipulation, distortion, lies. Yeah, that's also good things. I can find my friends. We have to decide what we want. If we don't have air conditioning with a wet bulb temperature of 41 and 95% humidity, you die. If we don't solve climate change, food, water, inequality together on a global level, it's not solved. Then it's just not going to get any better. Imagine a future where everyone uses some sort of chatbot as their personal main interface. That is your own personal AI assistant that lives on your mobile phone, on your wristwatch, on your buttonhole, on your television, on your car. Technology is a tool. I can use technology to kill my neighbor, a hammer or AI or a drone, or I can use it to do good things. As machines become smart, they will take a big slice of this. This is why we should not teach at business school about all the stuff that used to work. We have to get them to invent stuff. Tacit knowledge, deeper knowledge, quiet knowledge, understanding, wisdom, intuition, consciousness, imagination. That's what we need as leaders. Algorithms know the value of everything but the feeling of nothing. And as a leader, you're going to use algorithms to learn, clearly. You must. But in the end, it's about your narrative. Great technology should not aim to replace humans, but to amplify human capabilities. Humans are for questions, machines are for answers. Great leaders will embrace technology, but not become it. Your mindset contains your future. Also, the future is created by optimists. Have you ever seen a pessimist creating the future? We are to be architects of the future, not victims.